what if I told you that a dog can smell diseases? This is actually something that is true and I'm gonna talk about this more at the end of this video. But in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you guys why a dog's sense of smell is so strong and how strong it actually is compared to a human's. Let's get into this. Imagine for a second you could smell through water, even underground, that you could smell through flesh and bones. Well, dogs can. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about how strong a dog's sense of smell is compared to a human. I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian. I've been practicing for almost eight years now. If you guys are new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. I post videos every week. You can also follow me personally on my Instagram, Lindsay Butzer DVM. So I love dogs. You'll see that I have about six of my own dogs and I love that they have superpowers compared to us. So we're gonna talk about how good their smell is. So what if I told you that you could smell 10,000 times better than you're smelling right now. You can probably smell your mom's dinner downstairs and know exactly what ingredients are in it and what you might not want to eat too. So a dog's sense of smell is actually 10,000 times to up to 100,000 times stronger than our sense of smell. That is literally crazy to me. So another fact is that dogs have 50 times the amount of olfactory or smell receptors than a human. A human has about 6 million smell receptors and a dog has a whopping 300 million smell receptors in their nose. So they can smell things that I don't even want to know about. Like I'm checking up on them and then all of a sudden like, oh God, I just killed like six dogs just now. So when you think you're being silent, you're actually pretty deadly to your dog. So enough of that farting stuff, now let's get sciency. Dogs actually have an extra organ in their mouth called the vomeronasal organ or the Jacobson organ. This is located at the roof of their mouth and lets them detect small particles in the air such as pheromones. Mainly it's used for mating, but it also gives them their incredible ability to pick up on human aromas and individual identity scents in minuscule quantities. This is why these dogs are so good at search and rescue. So next time you're at the airport and you're worried if you didn't take something out of your backpack, the dog will definitely smell it. So those dogs used for police work, they can smell things easily. That's their task. So a dog can also smell diseases. And lately, researchers are really intrigued by their sense of smell and how accurate dogs have been detecting cancers and viruses from human bodily fluids and even sniffing a human that's alive. So I'm gonna get into that research next. Researchers found that cancer cells leave specific traces of odor signatures in a person's body and bodily secretions called volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, mostly detected by a dog's sense of smell in urine, breath, and blood. Dogs are currently easily detecting VOCs in patients with breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colorectal, lung, skin, and prostate cancers. It's seriously incredible and groundbreaking. Doesn't that just make you wonder, guys? Like, what's the future gonna be like? Dogs are gonna start treating us the dog tours for real now. So they're gonna bring in a German Shepherd or something. You're gonna be sitting there and it's gonna smell you. So it's like scanning, test one. And then the dog goes and like puts his paw print. I don't know, my head just like went everywhere thinking about this, but it is so cool and I'm fascinated to see what we're gonna use these canine companions for. We're gonna take a quick break and look at Willow, a sweet pointer that's at our daycare here. And these dogs are used for hunting. So hunters will scare up birds, shoot them down, and then they'll fall into the grass. And pointers use their great sense of smell to go pick up that bird and bring it back to their owner. To make things more unbelievable, in one study, two dogs received training for one year. That's a long time. Researchers then presented them with urine samples and dogs proved up to 73% accurate in detecting lung cancer. 
In 2021, one medically trained dog detected breast cancer in urine with 100% accuracy among 200 urine samples. 40 had breast cancer and 182 had different types and 18 had no cancer at all and the dogs missed it. Man, I just love our canine companions that God put on this planet for us. Not just man's best friend, but they might now be man's best dog tour. All right, guys, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up so my video circulates to more pet lovers like yourself, and I'll see you next week.